Few sports in the world can match the heart racing, adrenaline pumping rush that Enduro delivers. It's dramatic, it's daring, and it's downright dirty. As if Patio was bereft of entertainment options for fully grown men, the new kid on the block, the most fun you can have with your clothes on, Extreme Enduro Patio. This is the team from Extreme Enduro Patia. They guarantee one of the most rewarding adventure activities on Thailand's eastern seaboard. And when it comes to an enduring passion for the sport, it's hard to keep up with tour leader Phil Lodge. I, I started dirt bike riding late. When I was about 40, I really got into dirt biking. But my, my, I was a three-time world BMX champion when I was younger. So you're still looking for that adrenaline rush, you know, and I'm retired now, I'm 50 odd. So and to be able to still get an adrenaline rush and ride with, with, with good people and through the bush and finding new tracks and, and, and doing new challenges is very rewarding and living in Thailand just is a perfect way to, to spend your retirement. Closely related to trail bike and motocross riding, the sport of enduro well and truly puts its participants in an altered state of comfort. The fully protective clothing is carefully designed to safeguard all of the vulnerable parts of the body. And I for one was blissfully unaware at this stage of getting fitted out just how vital this protection was to be. Before you get going, Phil will quickly assess your ability and select the course that is best suited to you. The bikes here are all modified to ensure a great ride. You don't look two metres in front of the road, right, because you lose your balance. You look ahead. And when you ride in the bush, look ahead, pick your mark where you want to go, and that gives you time to balance yourself and do everything right. So after suiting up, it was time to hit the sand. If you have as little as 10 hours riding experience under your belt as I did before attempting this sport and on a far less performance bike, I would suggest you at least double those hours. This sport is indeed a challenging one that will well and truly test your skills and your metal. Enduro enthusiasts Brian Enion and Brad Taylor from Australia pretty much ride, eat, sleep and ride repeat. And they even have the t-shirt to prove it. Uh, coming down meeting Phil and the guys have a great, great ride around the back here. Good camaraderie, everyone looks out for each other. Uh, you know, wait on the corners, next one goes through, you have a good drink and a beer at the end of the day. Ten years ago I used to do a bit of racing. Uh, motocross but yeah this is fantastic the tracks and that and the different different speeds and that we can go on that it's fantastic yeah feels fantastic at taking us through the bush and showing us all new tracks it, it, like I've been doing it every week for the last five weeks and uh, every time he takes us to a new place and it's fantastic it's safe to say this is generally a male dominated sport but there are plenty of girls who can handle the horsepower Hey, but you know, it's the first time, second time, maybe I'm scared too, you know, but when you ride more, you learn more, practice more, you're going to be fine and very fun for learn to do like this. Group rides such as these unite all participants who beforehand were absolute strangers. Call it a primeval ritualistic bonding if you will, but the thrill of tackling and overcoming a challenging terrain and emerging unscathed provides a unique experience. Peter from Sweden is one of the many repeat visitors here. Peter, um, you've been here before, how's the experience today? Oh, it's a very nice experience today. A little bit dusty, but it's, it's a nice ride. And um, just between you and I, no pain, no gain, hey? Yeah. Yeah, the pain comes in tonight when the <laughs> body is sore <laughs> for all the riding. That's it. But there are lots of uh, lots of different tracks. Uh, you never get bored here, right? No, never. 
yeah. you have the jungle tracks, the open road tracks, and and how long have you been riding, Pete? Uh, for this, it's the fifth time I'm driving enduro here. Fifth time, and, yeah. And what about in your lifetime? When did you start? When when did your passion commence? Uh, two years ago. Two years ago. So Down here. Relatively new to the sport. Yeah. 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 So the only time I'm really driving enduro here is uh, here in okay. Thailand. And um, what do you enjoy most about it? Uh, the nice company, good guides, good food and the fun to ride. And you couldn't get a better place than this for some enduro thrills and spills. This lakeside terrain on the outskirts of Padilla is perfect for the sport with a number of challenging courses, surfaces and scenic routes to tackle. Uh, first thing, if you really want, we go pick you up from the hotel. Yes, okay, we have a nice van for pick you up from the hotel. Take to the shop and then uh, you can have all of the course, all of the gear. We prepare for you everything. And when you go out, uh, you're going to get, uh, you will have lunch. We, we will pay for lunch too. So everything, we take care of you, okay? Uh, when you come, we will have to look for your skill first, so we can know how you, uh, which way you can go. Uh, we have on a start from easy trail to the hard trail, so no worry about you're gonna get trouble or anything because we have staff, we have tour guide for take you out, and you can have so fun for for this activity and confirm for that. Given some of the terrain is so rugged, bike modification is quite popular, such as changing standard shock absorbers to the best on the market Olens. Brian touches on this point. Some people like to tweak things to the extreme, others just like to make a few changes. Uh, I think the main reason why people would tweak a bike uh, a local manufactured bike is because the taxes are a lot lower so you can spend more money than you would have spent on an imported bike like on the Olin's uh, shocks, uh, aftermarket tanks, exhausts and make it more of a, a professional type bike. It'll never be that but it'll be a lot better than say paying half a million baht when you can pay 150,000 baht for a locally made bike. You can select an all-day ride for a minimum of three hours to begin with. If you want to totally immerse yourself, then there's on-site accommodation for that extended experience. One thing is certain, the mini natural high that is felt by all riders is blatantly tangible afterwards and becomes quite addictive. You should expect a few harmless tumbles to begin with or you're not having a proper go. The Extreme Enduro package includes a range of bike sizes to choose from, all protective gear and the team's exemplary knowledge, expertise and patience. For more information, visit their website on screen. So after a hard day at the office, a huge adrenaline dump and a nice refreshing shower, it's time to sit back, relax and enjoy the on-site amenities and see which one of us can tell the biggest lies. Thanks for a great day, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.